guys it's Megan and it's a Friday afternoon and I took this afternoon off so I am free I have I mean it's not really a long weekend but I have two and a half days which is longer than normal and I just like to take afternoons off like if I don't have any meetings I'm like actually good on my work and everything and today was just a like perfect day to do that so I'm so in such a good mood right now because we just had my coworkers like virtual baby shower at work and me, my boss, and another one of my coworkers like coordinated it and it was amazing. It like we really weren't sure how it would go, but it just worked out so so well and my boss made like zoom backgrounds so everyone had like the same background, which was really fun. I've never done that before. And then um, my coworker, like we got her a bunch of books, like everyone, if they wanted to contribute, sent like a book to our company address and then my coworker like put it all in a basket and stuff and then delivered it to Kristen's house and so she like opened it and everyone said like which book they sent and like what it meant to them and stuff and it was just so special and so nice to see everyone because I don't know about like your company but we don't use our cameras very much like even now that we're fully virtual like most people we just use like video calling but we don't actually show like our face we just do audio and so it was really great to see everyone that we haven't seen it in so long and it's like hard to believe it's been since march and now we're almost in october so it's just crazy and it was just so awesome like it worked out so much better than I could have imagined because honestly I thought it would be like not very successful um just because like people don't know how to use technology or like technology works against us and it was just a really really great experience so if you uh, like your company do things like for major events like baby showers or like if someone's retiring or whatever it still can be done virtually and it still makes the person feel really special and makes everyone feel like connected again which is super hard right now so yeah I'm just on like cloud nine right now it was so fun and great and oh my gosh I can't wait till her little boy is here so that was just such a highlight of this week and I've actually had a really like good week nothing too crazy happened this week so I'm definitely fine with that and I went into my office I don't know if it was Tuesday yeah I think it was yeah Tuesday and I did some work at the office because I don't have two screens at like my work desk at home is just my vanity and so I just have my laptop and it's really really hard to do some things with only one screen like if you're referencing a document and having to like double check something it's just so much easier with two screens so there's like no one at our building like there are people working there but it is almost no one <laughs> like it is the bare bare minimum and so I knowing that I felt comfortable going in for a few hours and honestly that was really nice like if I have another project I need to like see more things and be on like a big screen um, I would do that again because it saved me a lot of time and aggravation and I could use my standing desk which was amazing and yeah so I did have kind of some different stuff this week but it was a really good week overall and I've been feeling like into fashion this week and I'm wearing this really pretty blazer that I got from Express and I'll um I'll probably back up and show you guys the full outfit but these necklaces you guys you have probably already seen a Target haul and Oh my gosh, it is one of my best Target hauls 
ever 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 and this necklace is in it and it's actually a set of two necklaces and they're both styles that I've been looking for but in one set of necklaces for $17 like normally one necklace at like Target is $17 but this is a two pack for $17 and I'm sure you guys have been seeing this type of chain a lot that it's like just I don't know what it's called but it like molds to your body it is so pretty it's like a choker but not it's like perfect and then this I think they call this style like paper clip chain and so it comes with both of these and I'm doing a giveaway in that video in that Target haul with this set of necklaces like I bought another set for you guys because I love it so much so you can see like the length difference and um, there's different lengths that you could set it at I don't love them to together like honestly I don't know I don't know if I would ever wear them together but I really love them separately and I especially love the one I'm wearing like even for $17 I would get it just for this necklace because it's really nice it just like contours to your body it is super like shiny but not like gaudy in my opinion and it is so on trend and for way less than I've seen other like places sell this type of necklace for because I was looking at Miranda Fry and like all those different like Instagram ones but to get this in a set for $17 I bought it immediately so now it's a little bit tangled there we go so um, yeah, I've just been getting a little more into fashion, which is really fun because I used to be really into like dressing nice and fashion and stuff. And then I don't know, I just got out of it. So I'm going to wear this today or I have been wearing this. I think I'm going to use my Eclipse bag and I actually use it this way so you can see the chain. Um, and I was getting some questions in my Ocean City vlogs like, where is this bag? Because I had shown it right before, but I wanted to use my Tory Burch blue bag um, since it's so summery. And then when I feel like transitioning into fall, which I feel like I have the windows open, like I'm starting to wear like cardigans and stuff, um, I'm going to switch into this. So I'm excited about that. And something else this week that I've loved is my nail polish. So this is a manicure that I did, I think on Sunday night. I think it was Sunday. Um, and it's like a French manicure, but with like colors. So I really wanted to use this um, metallic pink from Nails Inc. in Bosses Be Like, but it's just very metallic pink like I just didn't really want to wear it on its own I really wanted to wear this which was velvet velour or it is <laughs> I said it was um but when I looked at them together I was like that makes a beautiful combination so I don't know what like struck me but I was like maybe I'll try to do a French manicure with it let me tell you it's hard to get that line straight and most of my lines are not that straight but from afar you can't tell <laughs> um and this has lasted with literally no wear at all whatsoever since Monday and today is Friday or it was Sunday. It was either Monday or Sunday. And I am just so, so impressed with these nail polishes. Like I have really gotten back into nail polishes and I've been impressed by Essie a lot. And OPI has honestly really disappointed me. Like the new ones that I got, they just chip super quickly and I just don't think they're as great as I used to think they are so like Essie and definitely Nails Inc is where it's at for nail polish like yo that's crazy so I want to change up my nails because I like to change them every few days but I've just left this on because I liked it so much and then my lip combo I like my whole makeup but my lip combo is very like I don't know to me it's like very 90s and I wanted something like 
cool to go with like the necklace and this jacket is or blazer is like more fancy looking but if you pair it with different things it like dresses it down so I wanted it to be kind of a grungy lip I don't know if I achieved that but I just really like this look combo so Charlotte Tilbury iconic nude must 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 have it is a perfect like brown nude color these last super well on my lips these and the Lancome last the best on my lips and then this week I got MAC Oyster Girl lip glass I have never had a lip glass and then they were half off during the 21 days of beauty and I had no interest in it and then I was like for nine dollars I want to try like one of the colors I always heard about which the one I could remember the best was Oyster Girl and this is gorgeous like I know I'm kind of far away but it gives the most beautiful sheen. It's like a little bit frosty pink, but not like crazy and not super opaque. But this lasts so well. Like it is the tiniest bit sticky, but like I can talk. Like I was talking all throughout that baby shower thing and my lips weren't like stuck together, you know? And it's just really really good like I know a lot of us don't really buy MAC as much because there's all these other brands and stuff but this is really good so I got that and I'm really excited about it so I took this afternoon off because I could and I just wanted to kind of chill I don't have any plans but I thought I would vlog and bring you guys along with me through this weekend of course and yeah so I just wanted to catch up with you but let's get on into the normal vlog. <laughs> I'm so excited because I bought a phone tripod on Amazon so I can take my own like outfit pictures or like selfies and stuff um when Rachel's busy because she's going back or she's back in classes now um and sometimes like today I am available and she's not and I want to take a picture of my outfit so um I've just been doing like the front facing camera and I'll link this down below for any of you guys it like gets really short but for like outfit pictures I extend it I think this is the whole way that it extends so it's just really convenient if you are like a self-sufficient Instagrammer or like whatever so I don't know how I can show my blazer with this camera without a tripod but it's from Express and it's just really pretty and it goes basically down to like covers my butt and it's just really really nice I love the champagne color it feels like pajamas like it's so comfortable but I just really like this vibe and I am carrying my new Marc Jacobs purse and yeah so I wanted to take some pics and then head out for a little bit Rachel and I ran out to Starbucks you know how I do so I got my train to pumpkin cream cold brew with two pumps of pumpkin sauce and they so then it like because it's so ginormous like and it takes me like three or four days to finish this so it like helps it marinate and like taste good like throughout like the chicken. whole thing <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes exactly so I got that Rach oh and I got my pumpkin stone <laughs> gotta have it 50 points I used my stars for both of these because the drink is like six bucks this is three dollars it is not worth three dollars to me yeah and then Rach got her peach tea lemonade sweetened mm -hmm. I only taste the tea yeah <laughs> just sweet and lemonade and I liked my mask combo with my outfit I wore a black mask with the gold mask chain mm -hmm. that's your new jacket and this is my new jacket yes nice. love my outfit love this day <laughs> time to go home and eat my scone <laughs> I'm going to do some work on my videos for this weekend like doing the description box and I have to edit one video but I thought I would use this lip product again I used it last night and I was so shocked by it it's the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper 
and I never really use plumping lip products and I was very skeptical about it but it didn't hurt my lips like it tingled a little bit but not very much and it really plumped my lips so I want to try it again today just to see how long like the effects last so it just seems like a lip gloss and you just put it on and last night it seemed like it didn't do anything until maybe like a few minutes in but I try to really get like the edges on my lips mm. and it feels so good it's like a mix between a lip gloss and a lip oil feeling so um, these are my lips right now <laughs> and we will see how much bigger they appear um, but yeah so I just kind of wanted to do that and show you the before because I think the after last night at least was pretty shocking to me it's been like I don't know 15 minutes or so I'm telling you this stuff works and that is just the color that it makes your lips like I'm not wearing any lip product I wiped it off it definitely makes your lips look bigger I don't know you guys it's pretty impressive I would say so I'll see how long it lasts like I don't care if my lips are smaller or bigger but this is the first plumping product that hasn't hurt my lips doesn't taste horrible and doesn't like sting so bad um so i'm pretty impressed with it just wanted to share that it was in an ulta gift with purchase so maybe some of you got it and were scared to use it um but maybe try it out because i think it's really nice rachel tried it as well but she didn't like it like she thought it stung a lot more so your mileage may vary but for me and my two experiences so far I really like it and it actually works like I think it does <laughs> I just finished editing my last video for the weekend and doing the description box and I even filmed another video that I'm very excited about um and now I'm going to get on reading my book club pick so I'm only like a fourth of the way in and my book club meeting is this coming Wednesday so it will have already happened by the time you guys see this vlog so I have some major reading to do and this is like a dense book for sure like I can really get into it and like really like read a good chapter or two but it's like whew because they are in Alaska. It is desolate. It is deadly. Like, it is just intense. But it's really, really, really good. Like, it takes me there. And I have never, like, been anywhere like the place they're describing. So, it's really good. Some tough issues in this book with, like, the father being a prisoner of war from um, the Vietnam War and it's mostly through or it's all through the perspective of the daughter and oh it's just really good it's really sad like it's not really sad yet but I think it will get sadder <laughs> but um, I'm really enjoying it and I didn't realize that this author Kristen Hanna wrote the book The Nightingale which it's on the cover it literally says a novel from the best-selling author of the nightingale but i didn't realize what that book was until i looked at my um i placed a target order this week and it was in my like wish list and i was like oh my god that's the same author as this so i'm excited to read more of her books because i'm really enjoying this one so far but I need to finish it this weekend or at least mostly this weekend so I can finish it before Wednesday. I don't know if you can tell how nice the lighting in here is but it is like so soft and peaceful and I fell asleep when I was reading and it was such a nice nap oh my gosh. Hey you guys it's Saturday and 
We have just been doing stuff this morning. I just took my time doing my makeup and I had so much fun. I always like to watch at least Lisa D. One's Friday haul while doing my makeup on Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon as it is. Um, and it's just a time that I really look forward to every single week. And I hope that for some of you guys, you look forward to watching my videos as you get ready. I think it's just a really special thing that like YouTube provides me and I always look forward to it. So yeah, let me know if you guys watch my videos like in the morning or like at a certain time every week that you look forward to. Like, I just think that's a really, really cool thing to know um, about my subscribers. And I just appreciate you guys so, so much. And yeah, so I did my makeup and I didn't, didn't really need to do my makeup because I don't think I'm gonna film any videos today and um, we're mostly just going to be cleaning. We're doing a huge cleaning project in our basement and <laughs> it is going to take forever. Like honestly, it is a big, big like weight on all of us. So we're trying to clean that out which we're excited about and so i'm gonna be helping my mom and sister they already got started you guys we have been cleaning for hours we have we just took a lunch break we're revived we're going to go back downstairs to clean more but i wanted to show you some of the gems that we found we've like thrown away recycled and donated like 90 percent of what we have looked through but right now we're like, we put aside some thing, things we wanna decide if we wanna keep. And so I, I found these amazing like 90s, mom, you can see your head like. <laughs> it's, your it's like her little head just like over that Sorry. half wall. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> it's not a problem. I just wanted to tell you in case you didn't want to be like seen. <laughs> oh my god, but I found these sunglasses that I think used to be mine, but my dad is convinced they used to be Rachel's. I don't know. But they are like so modern for like how old they probably are. Like definitely 90s or early 2000s. So I want to keep those. I found this. This is such a vibe. My songs cassette from Barbie. Like, what is even on here? I don't know. And Rachel found your old, like, Disney princess oh, phone. Yeah. That is a vibe. So we want to do, like, a whole vibe. Like, I don't know what we're going to do with it, but it is too cool to get rid of. Um, also on the 90s theme... We found this Mary Kay and Ashley Christmas collection VHS, you guys. VHS! <laughs> like, how cool is that? So we want to see if there's anywhere that will, like, transfer this onto a DVD. Or maybe it's cheap enough to just buy the DVD. But I think that's so cool. And then this, I love this bowl. Um, this was from my parents' wedding flower centerpiece. Like, how awesome is that? And it is so pretty. I love this kind of cut glass. Like, if you've seen, like, in my bathroom, I have, like, all my perfume samples in that little vintage glass dish. And so I just love stuff like this. And I think I'm going to put, like, my keys and like my mask chain and everything in here so I can easily grab and go. And then the other thing that I really love that we found is this beautiful like light wood like salad bowl or like serving dish or you could put like something in it as like a centerpiece as well. But it's so like current yet it's like probably five or ten years old so. Maybe 15 or 20, really? Oh my God. So that's really cool. And then, <laughs> it's just really silly. But when I was a kid, my mom made me a Clifford the Red Dog um, <laughs> costume. It doesn't look as good because my head's huge now. But we still have the ears. I cannot believe it. So this was probably like second grade or first or second grade. Yeah. It <laughs> Amazing. So I just wanted to 
oh, show some of those things and we have a lot more work to do but we're feeling really great about it and my car's loaded up to go to Goodwill this weekend and there's probably going to be more stuff and yeah so <laughs> those are just some of the gems we've been finding oh my god you guys so we just finished up for the day and we have been through some shit let me tell you but so i have some more fun things i wanted to share with you first is this giant basket of jewelry like costume jewelry i just wanted to show you like what i used to wear in like high school and stuff like i loved big huge crazy necklaces like i would go thrifting a lot and they're all like tangled but you can see they're like so many like layers and it's like all this really cool stuff and forever 21 i would go to all the time but it's like all just like of course cheap costume jewelry because i was in high school but it's really really just like funny to look through some of this this piece was the funniest to me because it says i don't know if you'll be able to see it but it says fashion junkie <laughs> on this like chart chain so anyway that was pretty hysterical so that can all be donated and then oh i have in my pockets i collected like small stuff throughout the day that i was finding and any money so i want to count how much money we made today <laughs> with our little or not little but our huge cleaning adventure so i found this hello kitty um ballerina thing and there's like a price tag on it like 48 cents and my mom had written megan on it so i think that's super cute i found this high school musical zach efron little like notepad i think that's hilarious oh i found a mood ring this is like actually from when i was in elementary school and it still had the like little paper and it's so true it says i'm tense angry and stressed <laughs> very accurate mom found this it's so cute she had written me like a letter when i graduated from high school and i don't know how it got lost in all of our stuff but it's so sweet so i'm gonna obviously keep that forever we found one lego piece like a vintage one this adorable butterfly clip this is so like vintage it's it reminds me of like limited two and then the rest of the stuff that i collected is all coins so let's see how much money we made today so we made 79 cents rachel add it to our lego fund so that's hilarious we also found this cute barbie cup from when i was probably a kid and i just love this vibe and this is the phone that i mentioned before rachel's old <laughs> phone it is so cute and amazing and we found a bunch of other cute stuff oh wait this is pretty hilarious as well so this is a soccer trophy i got in kindergarten but the funniest part is that i was horrible at soccer i did not want to do it i doubt i ever like helped the team to victory at all um but it's like engraved with my name and it's from 1998 and it was the team was the sparks so I have this great trophy to remember that forever but yeah this mood ring is accurate and yeah so we have a lot more work to do but we feel very productive good job mom and Rach <laughs> they're dying <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys all this stuff so we've been on our feet all day and I was like we should do feet and hand masks so Mom is going to do the Patchology Warm Up Best Foot Forward. It's her first foot mask ever. Is it your first foot mask, Rach? Mm -hmm. Rachel is going to use this skin food one, and I'm going to use this. We each have one. And then we have some other ones. Um, I might use, yeah, I think I'm going to use this, the Patchology Perfect 10 Warming Hand Mask. And I still can't believe how well my nail polish held up and we were working with our hands for like six or more hours today like it was crazy and my nails it's not even focusing but 
they're they look almost perfect so it's kind of crazy but yeah we are gonna put our feet up relax and let these feet masks do their magic these are the patchology ones they look like <laughs> they look like tin man masks but you, they have like little stickers that you wrap around the ankle so mom's gonna relax so I'm about to put on my patchology hand masks, which look the same, but they look like mittens. They're so cute. But before I do that, I want to show you, we're going to watch the second Harry Potter. We watched the first one and the third one, and now we're going back to watch the second one to see if we like it as much or whatever as we remembered. This movie was a lot better than I remembered, and I'm glad we rewatched it. Bravo! I'm slap happy because I'm really tired. <laughs> hey you guys, it's Sunday afternoon and I have already had a really full day. Caitlin and I went to one of our favorite brunch spots and had a really, really nice brunch. And they had all this like fall like decor and stuff outside. So we took so many pictures because we had to wait for like an hour to get a table. But that was fine because we got to just take our time taking pictures and it was great. So um, I'm wearing my favorite fall dress, the leopard one from Target or Cheetah. I don't know, leopard cheetah, I'm not sure. Um, but now I am sitting out front. It's getting a little more humid, um, so I might pull my hair up. But my hair was do, like doing the right thing today. Like sometimes my hair doesn't dry <laughs> in a way that I really like, but it did good today. But I really, really, really have to get reading my book club pick. I haven't made too much progress and I need to finish this like by Tuesday um, so I can have my conversation about it on Wednesday and it's Sunday afternoon so I want to get some good reading done it might be too humid to read outside actually there was a little breeze earlier at brunch but now it's like not really doing that so I'm not sure if I'll actually end up reading out here but yeah, I just am having a really, really nice day so far. My grandma came over and I got to see her just for a little bit because our brunch went longer than expected because of how long we had to wait. But it was just nice to see her in person. And yeah, so I'm gonna do some reading whether it's in here or out here or inside. And just wanted to give you guys a little update on my day so far. So we're picking a new front door color. And it's between these three. And I think we're all leaning towards that yeah. darker blue. I'm gonna agree. Looks so pretty. It was way too humid to keep reading outside, so I decided to come in. I changed into this shirt that I just got from Target, and I love it. It has Bambi and Thumper, and they are in the cutest like patch of flowers. Like it is gorgeous, and I love this like olivey green color, and it's super soft. It's really really nice and like recently target had 20 percent off pretty much all their clothes so i got a bunch of stuff i'm actually going to wrap up this vlog here um i have to really get reading on my book to be ready for wednesday and i think we're just gonna be like chilling the rest of the night um we're still really like worn out from all the cleaning we did yesterday which we still have a lot more like to go through in our basement but we feel like really great about it and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i love 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 connecting with you guys as always and i actually put up a poll on my um youtube community tab let me check it um because i asked you guys what like videos you most look forward to seeing on my channel which i saw alexis ask that question and i thought that was a great idea to like just see what like videos do you look for on my channel like i can see the views of course but i just was curious to see what people would say and so so far there's 120 votes and the type of videos that people are most looking forward to are empties or project pans with 40 percent then vlogs with 28 percent organization slash declutters 23 percent get ready with me tutorials five percent and hauls four percent and i find that so fascinating because 
while empties, project pans, organizations, and declutters get like a good amount of views, my hauls get the most views. And so it's just interesting that people, at least that are voting in this poll, most look forward to that and least look forward to hauls, at least like picking one option. I know it's hard because for most people I watch, like I look forward to all their videos. So to pick just one, I know it is like not really accurate, but I just found that to be really interesting and I'll keep track of it because the poll like never closes. So I, th I just think that's cool. And if you guys like haven't checked out my community tab, I'm trying to be more active on it. And it's just a good way for me to check in with you guys, like in between my videos, ask polls or just like video ideas, all that good stuff. And I just really appreciate any feedback you give me for my videos. It really, really helps me to like stay inspired, like never run out of content. Like I could seriously do a video every day and I wish I had like the bandwidth to do that, but I do as much as I can and I love all the videos that I post. Like I never post a video I don't feel good about. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy all my videos as well and I seriously appreciate you guys that watch my vlogs. Like I feel like we just have an even deeper connection of course because I'm sharing like my everyday life with you and so much more than just like beauty. So I really appreciate you being here and I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you're doing well and staying safe and healthy and I will see you very soon. Bye!